Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are working on part four of the spring cleaning series. So that's going to involve basically what we're working on today is the bathrooms. We're getting all these cleaned up, um, all the stuff we've missed, stuff we haven't done, getting everything wiped down, cleaned out, and spring clean. Now we do keep up more with the bathrooms, you know, for obvious reasons. They need a lot more attention, that kind of thing. But we do have a big dust build up, which apparently is a common theme in this house, is random dust build. -up. But yeah, I want to get all the toilets clean, the sinks clean, the showers and all that rinsed down um, and get this place nice and clean and get it spring cleaned, as that's what we're doing right now and get this place up to the same kind of clean standard as the rest of upstairs for the moment. And then once we complete that, we're going to be moving down in, we're going to be moving downstairs um, after these videos come out because uh, this this basically the last thing we need to finish upstairs is the bathrooms. If you are new to my channel I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for choosing my video to get you motivated or for your entertainment and I would love to welcome you to the community. You are of course more than welcome to subscribe to the channel down below hit the red button and ring the bell to be notified every time a video goes live on my channel. As well as that if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button let me know that you enjoy the content that I'm making. As always, if you've been here before, welcome back. I am delighted to see you again. And I really, really hope that you are enjoying the content that we are making so far. Um, as I've done in previous videos, the links for the other videos in the series will be linked in the description box below. So if you want to catch up on the series so far, you can do that. And I think that is all pretty much I have to say. So hopefully we're going to have some really nice, motivating, feeling content today. Satisfying. And I hope you guys can... Hopefully pick up a few hints and tips along the way. So without further ado, let's get started. So I started off here by putting the toilet cleaner into the bowl and that was just to let it sit and let it get to work while I was working on other things. Now one thing I will have to say about that yellow cleaner is that the smell of it was incredibly strong. So I'm not sure if it's something that I would buy again to be honest, but I want to use what we have rather than wasting it. And then you'll see me just start off here in the bathroom, just kind of cleaning any non-wet areas of the bathroom, like shelves and like you can see the window still here, the window, the mirror, that kind of thing. Because anytime I get to a wet area, like the sink, the shower, the toilet, I'm using antibacterial yeah, for obvious reasons. You know, it's a toilet. But um, yeah, I just really want to give this a good dust as I've done in all the rest of the rooms. Um, because the windows in the house do gather up quite a bit of dust. You can even just see there, that's just from the top section of that window so like there is an awful amount of dust in the house and i think one of the reasons as well there is such an amount of dust is just jobs being left by the wayside and not getting done the wayside even and just kind of saying i'll do it tomorrow and then leaving and then not really really kind of realize and take it on board how long it was actually leaving between each clean now you'll actually see me here in this uh, radiator this is actually a heated towel rail radiator but you can see here i'm getting right in because the actual amount of dust inside you can see it there especially on the end one inside between the different bars on this right here was unbelievable like, i actually couldn't believe the amount of dust in it but this is one uh, bathroom as well that badly needed to be cleaned so i think as well that's a huge problem we're having it's like we i clean a room in the house and then i move on to the next one and then i move on to the next one but i'm doing such big deep cleans that i don't Kind of go back up and top top up the clean if you will and then by the time i get around to cleaning it again the place is absolutely covered in dust so i really need to get on board and start up um, an actual proper weekly routine i did previously have one but i stopped using it that there's just the sif bathroom me most i'm using and because it's one i haven't used in a long time i was just reading the instructions again now i must say this cleaner is pretty good like it foams nicely it didn't get rid of the mold uh, I also use this in the shower in um, in my room, in my like the main bathroom as well. I use this all over the house and I did keep using this one here. You can see me being quite generous because I was trying to use this up. Now, one thing I do have to say about this uh, spray is you'll see my face here. The smell, the chemical smell is unbelievable in this. Like if someone told me that this product, if I didn't know what it was and someone sprayed it and told me it was industrial strength, I wouldn't be surprised. 
So I did actually have to take a bit of break that he saw me opening the window because this smell was quite overwhelming. Um, like I've used sprays in the past and all that kind of thing, but this, like this is a whole different level of chemical smell. Now I gotta say it is a brilliant cleaner and it's really good, but it's not worth the smell uh, that comes off it. And one thing you'll notice as well is you're not gonna see Mr. Supervisor in this video. And the reason for that is because I'm using these chemicals in the bathroom, they are strong. I am trying to move on to more natural products, but for right now, I'm just using up what we have in the house. And a lot of what we have in the house is chemicals. So I am using them up. I don't just want to throw them into the bin or with stuff like this, like this um, aerosol spray, we recycle them, but still you're meant to empty them before you recycle them. Um. But yeah, like you can see there, I literally, you see the foam just moving down. I literally had to step out of the shower and take a few minutes because I could really like feel in my breathing that the chemicals were getting at my skin or at my breath, even should I say, the scent of the chemicals. Like it was so unbelievably strong. But yeah, it's a great product. Um, If you have a huge bathroom, I think it would work better because obviously there's a lot more ventilation, but the bathrooms in our house, like they're good size, but they're not overtly big. So maybe that's why I noticed the smell so much more. Here is just me dusting and putting away the few bits so that I can dust the shelves on the outside. And if you'll notice these little glass bits on the outside, you'll see it on the left hand, the right hand side of the screen. These are actually all one shelf that goes right the way through the unit. There's a hell of a lot of dust there up on top of that counter or that cabinet there. But these shelves go right through, so I have to be quite careful when I'm cleaning them because if I move them, it pulls everything over inside and I learned that the last time again. A lot of the shelves and stuff we have in the bathrooms are with the glass and stuff. They just gather a lot of dust. And that's something I really want to uh, speak to my dad about as well as maybe rethinking that setup with the shelves. Because we're just kind of dumping stuff on them because they're there. But I want to figure out if they're necessary because they are, again, another thing to clean. You will as well see me using my yellow duster. That's just there giving you the zoom of the little thing. Uh, I decided to speed that up there, guys, because to be honest, I was just talking rubbish. But yeah, that's the e-cloth, um, window cleaning cloth. And you'll see me then use the polishing cloth after. I've mentioned these on my channel a million times. They're really good. They work on all glass, um, all windows, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, I also use the polishing cloth on my computer. Uh, on my computer screen. It's really, really good for that. Um, I wouldn't recommend using the other cloth because I can't recommend it because that's not what it's for. First of all, and second of all, I wouldn't really put water near my computer ever. But yeah, it's just kind of going through these bits here and cleaning up this shelf. And these are really good clean. Like the mirror stuff was quite dusty. And then just, I'm just trying to clear off the sink when you see me open it there again. There's just the things I'm using, antibacterial surface wipes. And they are from Aldi, I believe. This here is just me anti-backing it after I've uh, dusted it. Because obviously it's a bathroom and, you know, toilets. Um, and for those of you who do, uh, you probably already know, but just when you're flushing the toilet, if the lid's not down, the water can spray all over the toilet, all over the bathroom. Like Now, I'm usually quite good at um, doing that. Whether or not my dad does it, I don't know. I don't really use his bathroom very often. Um, but he probably does do it, but I, I wasn't sure. So I said I'd better to err on the side of caution and just clean everything. And you'll see me there anti-backing. So everything's been dusted. Then I anti-backed absolutely everything as well. So this is kind of one of these weird jobs, guys. And I don't know what it is about this bathroom in particular, but this bathroom always takes me so much longer than I think it will. Like every single time I come in and do this bathroom, I'm like, I'll have it done like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, 40 minutes, it'd be fine. It'd be done. It never does, guys. It always takes so much longer. This bathroom always takes me at least an hour. Now, I think part of that is to do with probably the products that are used. Uh, obviously, my dad uses different products than I do, especially in the sink. Now, I don't know if the camera picked it up very well, but if you look into the actual basin part of the sink here, you'll notice these like yellowish, creamish streaks on the sink. Now, what that there is, is that's just soap scum. Soap scum happens and that's fine. You know, part of life, part of using soap. But the thing is, is my dad uses bar soap. Um, usually like just basic, normal bar soap. But like not, he wouldn't have done like the moisturizers in them and all the other jazz they put into them. Whereas I use more liquid soaps. Now I am starting to move to um, bar soaps because obviously they're much better for the environment. Less plastic and all that. But my God, you're going to see me here now for a while. 
and I used, let me tell you, I used some elbow grease. You have to scrub that. You can see it there on the wipe. You have to scrub to get soap scum off. It is no joke. Now, realistically, would that mousse have lifted in about three seconds? Probably. But as I mentioned, I was trying to use it up. Um, and again, obviously, I'm sure someone will comment down below about wipes being so unsustainable. And you're right, they are. But I don't buy them. I'm not the one who buys them. But I'm using what's in the house. We are moving more towards more natural products and more reusable, you know, sustainable, shall I say, products. But the wipes were there and yeah, so I used them. And if you use wipes all the time, that's fine. It's just something to be aware of. Like I try not to use wipes for anything else because they're not they're not sustainable, guys. They can't be recycled. Um, obviously, I'm sure m most of you do not throw them into the toilet. You put them in the bin because obviously they can wreck your sewage. But yeah, we're just using up what we have. You can see me here using my polishing cloth. Now, if you look at that shine, I had to zoom in to show you guys. Look at the shine on the top. Now, it's okay, like, without the cloth. Like, it's nice and shiny, but, like, that kind of glistening shine, that's the e-cloth polishing cloth. Um, I always use it, because even when I use the cleaner and stuff like that, and rinse down the top, occasionally I will get watermarks. Because, you know, watermarks happen, so I always like to finish it off with a polish. Again, guys, you're going to see me using wipes throughout this video. I don't use wipes every day. Um, but, yeah, again, we have a lot of them in the house, so... We're going to keep using them as well as that we bought wipes during the pandemic because as you all know it was very hard to get anti back products sprays and stuff like that so look we got wipes so now i'm using them uh again when you notice this and i'm just going to make a note of this now just so no one gets grossed out or whatever the toilet cleaner is yellow that is what is in the toilets do not be alarmed <laughs> that's what it is you'll also notice here as i clean around the bowl uh, a note I'm going to give here, especially if you have boys in the house, especially young boys, or in some cases men. When I clean around the bottom of the bowl there with the wipes, I also use, uh, I do a good patch as well around the floor. If you have men or boys in the house, I would recommend using an antibacterial spray. Now, you know, I'm not casting aspersions on anybody in my household at all. Because I don't really think that's a problem we have, but I always do it as a precaution. Just in case, guys, because, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Another big reason for me is because I have a dog in the house and the dog likes to go around sniffing everything in the house. So, you know, for safety, just to be, just on the off chance, uh, I always do that. Um, now, it's not an issue I really have with my dog, but as I said, better to be safe than sorry. And I just really wanted to give this a really, really thorough clean um, and really just give it a good scrub. And as I always say, guys, get rid of the dust and tidy up before you start cleaning. And with this one, I've really tried to give this a thorough uh, clean down. You'll see me like swapping the wipes regularly. Some people would say use as little wipes as possible, which is fine in a lot of rooms. But when it comes to the bathroom, I don't scrimp on cleaning products. Never have. Not going to start now. But yeah, this toilet needed a really, really good scrub. This bathroom actually has a new toilet brush, um, which I know for a fact because I bought it. Um, I just don't know where it is. It could be downstairs somewhere. My dad, I know, likes that one. Um, but anyway, yeah, so if you've seen different videos and you're wondering why, that's why. And this is just me in here with this little bucket just rinsing down the mousse off this shower. Um, and giving it a really good clean because it's really important, guys, when you're using any of these chemical products, especially foams, that you rinse the shower really, really well. Because if you get this stuff on your skin, it will irritate it. And like, yeah, I'm in here, I've got my shoes on, I've got my clothing on, that's all going to protect my skin. But, you know, generally when you get in the shower, you're not wearing full clothing and shoes. So you don't want to leave any residue of any chemicals behind because you can really badly damage your skin with these chemicals. So you just see me here just getting, doing, using my little squeegee on the glass doors there just to get the excess water off. And so it doesn't streak. Uh, and I like to do it on this door as well. This door loves to just get streak marks. It's like it enjoys watermarks. It's like it does it on purpose. Uh, but that is a big problem we do have in this bathroom. But yeah, um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm now doing a shorter format of video, but I will be uploading multiple times a week. I'm still working on the schedule for that. But I hope you guys will continue to join me in my videos. And I'm just polishing off there any bits that the squidgy miss. But I just wanted to put a note in case 
uh, you missed my previous videos. Um, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the spring cleaning series so far. There will probably be a lot more music in the next kind of couple of videos because it's kind of similar to what I'm doing here. More cleaning, but you know, less chatty I would imagine and more music. And then I'm just using that towel there just to clean up the floor so I don't slip because it's tiled. So that is the end of today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it satisfying and motivating and picked up a couple of tips along the way. The spring cleaning series so far I think is going really well. Now a question I did get over on my socials about some of the rooms was what about the floors? So I have actually shampooed the carpet in my dad's room and in the box room they were done. I didn't film them unfortunately. I was super limited for time the day I did them and I had a lot of stuff going on. So unfortunately I wasn't able to film them but they are done. And then as opposed to the, the bathrooms and stuff like that, as for previous videos, I'm gonna let the dust fall and settle. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell and set to all to be alerted every time a video goes live on my channel. And as always, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy the video so I know you guys enjoy the content that I'm making. So I just wanted to wish you guys a great rest of your day. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend ahead and a great rest of your week. And I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.